Hey YouTubers, I'm going to entitle this, uh, this video, Don't Be As Stupid As I Am. Um, if, I hope you'll pardon my appearance. I uh, just got off a uh, nice little camping trip, probably the last one of the year. But um, coming back, I was driving my truck, and I was like, boy, that's funny, I smell something familiar. I'm a mechanic, I can recognize various smells of vehicles. And I was like, that's funny, somebody must have an electrical fire around here. And I looked in my uh, rearview mirror and saw some smoke in my, uh, in my bed of my truck. And I went, ah, I pulled over and uh, pulled the... Uh, the, the thing open because there wasn't any flames visible and um, I smelled it I mean it hit me like a <laughs> like a freight train I was like whoa that's an electrical fire um, what happened was uh, my little electrical uh, backup power supply I'm sure you guys have seen it but the two wires uh, on the booster batteries uh, contacted as it was like rattling around back there and it shorted dead short to ground and uh, smoked the two wires connecting the uh, battery, the booster batteries to the main uh, unit. And the result is uh, it just burned the wires and the wires themselves actually became a fuse. Pardon the mess, camping trip recovery here. But uh, basically um, I ended up uh, burning this, this like I think it's a 16, two 16 gauge uh, uh, wires. Anyway, um, if I had a brain in my head, I would have uh, put a fuse, inline fuse, like either probably on the positive side, just to stay with convention, but it doesn't really matter. But uh, then it would have blown the fuse, and all I would have had to have done was a wiring repair. But as it is, I got to clean up all the soot and uh, the greasy sooty goop on the batteries and uh, hopefully the batteries aren't damaged. I'm going to have to rebuild the system and uh, then run them through the charger and see if everything's still cool. So um, for future reference, <laughs> everybody on YouTube, don't be as stupid as I am. Later. <laughs> well, it's taken a couple days to get around to it, but uh, I finally rebuilt my battery backup power supply. Um, there was a unique challenge, uh, which is unusual in 12 volt systems, uh, that I was connecting two 12 volt batteries together. You see the bottom of that uh, battery device, uh, the part with the inverter and the wheels on it, um, that has a couple of batteries in it, and then the booster set of batteries, those four on top, uh, also are batteries. So basically I needed fuse protection on both sides. Now, um, just let me go back and caution everybody that if you are going to build any kind of uh, electrical, uh, electrical device, uh, 12 volts, 110 volts, whatever, don't skimp. Uh, put some fuses in there and it'll save you uh, a potential disaster later. Here I am into preparedness and I didn't even put a fuse into the, uh, the battery cart. How pathetic. So, here we go. I settled for putting an inline fuse right here at the positive battery terminal. And then I just secured the wires and then hooked it up to a um, to a little plug. Uh, this is all just junk I've had left over from years of being a mechanic. I'm sure you could get this at Napa or something. And then had this as well. Uh, this is a fuse block. And I have the power going directly in here. And then through a 25 amp fuse, which is plenty, the inverter can't draw uh, 25 amps. It's a 1500 watt inverter. Amps times volts equals watts. 25 amps will work fine. The only time it'll blow will be if uh, would be if I uh, shorted the wire somehow. <clears throat> so then, basically, if this thing, if these two wires shorted together somehow, like got strained or whatever, um, and insulation damaged and they shorted, it would blow that.
that fuse and the inline fuse, and then it would uh, it would be you know safe. It wouldn't burst into flames. <laughs> and the added bonus is oh, and I also uh, put some battery hold down uh, on it here. I, I basically painted up this two by two and uh, threw some wire ties in here, just enough to keep everything all in one piece. And as an added bonus, I can actually grab the thing. I, I might just put a handle like right here. But anyway, you can disconnect the plug. And then the, bat the uh, extra batteries here are completely disconnected. It's modular. Gotta love that. So, um... Since I have all these extra fuses, I could actually throw another fuse here, which is it's already there, but then plug something in here, like maybe an emergency light or something, uh, some kind of big LED lamp or something, so I could just flip it on and I'd have light. Um, maybe a bigger 12-volt light. In fact, I think I have one. Um, then I could like have a little thing where I could pick it up and wave it around, and I would have plenty of light. That might be worth doing. So um, basically I could connect six different appliances or uh, devices to this little fuse block. Now generally this is kind of overkill. I just happen to have it laying around. So uh, that's a little uh, better late than never. <laughs> it's got fuses now so uh, it probably won't burst into flames again. So, lesson learned. And by the way, uh, these, uh, that soot stuff that was on here, those aren't soot, that's scorch marks. The wires just actually toasted the casings a little bit. But it, they seem to be holding a charge just fine, so uh, I think I'll just uh, keep them as long as they go. Well, that's about it. Later.